Welcome back. Truth is often a casualty as the new Trump administration implements its early agenda, not just in the silly debate about inaugural crowd size or the president's distorted view of how his win sizes up to other electoral victories. The number of illegal border crossings is down. So is the murder rate in Philadelphia. The number of people on welfare, also down. But you wouldn't know that listening to the president. We want to get our people off of welfare and back to work. So important. It's out of control. Here in Philadelphia, the murder rate has been steady, I mean, just terribly increasing. And of course, there is zero evidence as President Trump insists that Hillary Clinton won the popular vote because three to five million undocumented workers voted illegally. To point these falsehoods and exaggerations out is called fact checking. The president and his team see it differently. Yeah, I think the media is the opposition party in many ways. If they treat me so unfairly, it's hard to believe that I won. But the fortunate thing about me is I have a big voice. I have a voice that people understand. The media is. Uh, is a disgrace. And they've called me wrong from the beginning. How are we doing this morning? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's wrong a lot. I mean, we call him wrong when he's wrong. And when he's right, we say he's right, because that's those are, that's our job. Um, and it's just, it, there is this, there seems to be this fundamental um, misunderstanding, maybe we'll give him the benefit of the doubt, that just because he won, everyone would be like, oh, you're great. And that, that's not how this works. You get vetted even more when you're president. You've got to be open to this criticism, because that's the job. This is not a campaign anymore. And I think this is something that both the, the president and some of his top aides don't seem to have calibrated to. Um, they are treating this as if uh, the, the weight of their words are not, uh, you know, more important now mm -hmm. than ever before. I mean, just yesterday, as I think Julie pointed out, a senior administration official asked a question that is easily answerable with Google. Would this order, this executive order on immigration, have stopped the San Bernardino attack? The answer is definitively no. Uh, but they asked that in, in a setting as if they couldn't just Google it and find the answer to it, leading to this misleading perception that somehow the executive order would have stopped a Pakistani, uh, you know, legal resident from carrying out an attack on the United States. And to me, uh, they have to answer for the, the, the degree to which some of these comments are uh, beyond just sort of mistakes. I don't think they, they think they need to answer for them, though. I, 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 if I was at a week or so back, I was in text exchange with a senior administration official who I was saying, that's just wrong. It's just factually wrong. Why are you keep saying it? said, we don't care what you say. We're louder than you. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and they think to their base, they think to their base, and they, to, whether it's you know, to, to Fox News or Breitbart or out there, to their base and their support, that if they say it, we're, tell, we're not telling the truth, even when we tell the truth, they think their people are going to believe it. And they, they do have that big megaphone, as Abby was saying, and, and it hasn't, they haven't recalibrated sort of how they operate. And Trump is a guy who came out of the, the New York tabloid, you know, mentality of punch back and punch back hard. Um, he w reads National Enquirer and believes what's in it. You know, I mean, he, he has this idea of sowing confusion and distrust in, in the media, and they think that's to their benefit. Um, but, you know, there comes a time when they need, you know, to get their message out, and they need to, to sway public opinion, and that's where it, you know, will get a lot more... He, he also testing. responds to what he sees.